Good morning, church. Welcome to our daily devotion. Inside is a joy to come back to share with you devotion this morning. I want to share on together in life's struggle. We are talking about cooperation. We need to stand together in life's struggle. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 1 and verse 4, He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. When they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. You know, just as we go to the Lord and receive comfort and strength and encouragement from God, it is so important for you and I to learn that in our lives so that when people are going to struggle, they need a friend and you are the friend that they need in their times of struggle. You know, in this season of pandemic, different people go through different challenges, different struggles, different problems, different uh, difficulties in life. Some seems to be insurmountable, impossible for some people, yet others is just a setback. To some, it is like scaling you know, the monkey hill in Suramban, or to others, going, through, going, going up Mount Kinabalu in Sabah. Yet, still, to many, it's the impossible. One more time. Yet, to many, it's the impossible. Mount Everest. You know, in times of struggle and life's challenge or challenges, going and facing them alone can be extremely difficult, discouraging, and sometimes impossible. It seems impossible. Uh, it, 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 it causes many to give up along the way, but going through them with loving, caring, faithful, considerate friends adds faith, adds hope, strength, grace, and peace. And thus make the journey that you and I go through easier and more God-assuring in the equation. You know, the Bible teaches us the value of friendship. It also teaches that there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. The Bible tells us in Proverbs 18 verse 24, uh, that is God. God sticks stick to us closer than a brother. You know, David had a tremendous friend in Jonathan, the son of King Saul who sought to kill him, who tried all ways, all means to erase him from the face of this earth because of jealousy. The Bible tells us in 1 Samuel chapter 18 verses 1 to 5 about their friendship and uh, who was truly a friend who stayed closer than a brother. Challenges and struggles in life comes in many forms and unexpected moments. Friends are good. They help us, they assist us, they comfort us, they give us the encouragement when we go through difficult times, just like what Job did. But some of his friends are really terrible. But Jesus is better. Jesus is is better. Remember this. Jesus understood this. Jesus understand you and I. Jesus understand the circumstances and the situation and the challenges and the problem uh, that we go through far more than a physical friend, but we still need friends. The Bible tells us that Jesus taught in John chapter 15 verses 13 to 15 about the ultimate demonstration of love and friendship between friends. He said this, in John chapter 15, greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends. Jesus said, if you can do whatever I command you. No wonder, no, ma no longer do I call you servants. For servant does not know what his master is doing, but I call you friends for all things that I heard from my Father, I have made known to you. Jesus tells to us this, we need God, we need Him, but we also need our earthly friends. When our earthly friends come and help us, it grants strength and encouragement to us, it push us on. But sometimes, they may not be able to help us. There are occasions in our life that we struggle with, that we may not know what to do, and they may not know what to do. They can only pray for us. But you know what? There is a friend 
better than an, a, a, an earthly friend that can help us go through, who understands us all the way. And the Bible tells us the greater friend than earthly friend is Jesus. Jesus knows what it feels like to grieve. Jesus knows what it feels like to comfort others. Jesus knew what it feels like to go through pain, physical pain, mental pain, uh, uh, emotional pain, difficulty. He know what how it felt to be rejected because he has gone through all this. How he uh, you, he he, he understands how you and I feel when we don't have money, we don't have food. Uh, he understands how you've been betrayed. He understands you and I far more better. But you know what? To be together in grief, to be together in difficulties, to be together in times of challenges and struggles means we have friends and friends help to elevate the pain. It means to walk with the other person no matter how tough it may be to us that we can walk through the journey with one another in each of our struggles. We need friends. So therefore, let me close this. First of all, together in life struggle, we need earthly friends. Our brothers and our sisters, our family members, our classmates, our good friends, even our neighbors. But apart from that, we also need one greater friend, that is Jesus Christ in our life, to help us through, to walk with us through, to journey with us through our time of struggles, our time of difficulties, our time of uncertainties in life. Jesus is the greatest. We need one another. We also need Jesus. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we pray that you help all of us to go through our struggles and the difficulties. Uh, we, to learn to find friends, good friends, that will walk through with us. And when they can't help, we have the greatest friends, that is Jesus. Greater than all the friends that we have. Because he understands and he has gone through what we all have gone through in life. Father, we pray that you'll bless us to learn to cultivate good friendship with people around us. Good, good friendship. Not just anybody, but good friendship that will speak positiveness into our life. That will speak encouragement into our life. That will speak grace and strength into our lives. That will stand with us and help us through. And most of all, help us to commit our life to Jesus, the greatest of all friends in our life to walk with us as we walk with him all this we pray bless us with a great day and a blessed day in jesus name we pray amen you have a great day and god bless you amen